First off, let's take a look at how they got there. Obviously, this is the quarterfinals. A lot of home hopes in Australia on Ash Barty coming through, but it was Jen Brady that made it to the final tough three-setter in the semi-final. Global viewing for Naomi and Serena, straight sets for Osaka. What does the win predictor tell us for tonight? Well, it says unsurprisingly that Osaka is at 71% chance of going through. We do know the win predictor doesn't do empathy particularly well. I'm going to give Jen Brady a little bit more than 29% myself. As for the strategy, both have a great shot of winning this title, but both need one shot in particular to be firing on all cylinders. For Naomi Osaka, it is her serve. There's no question about it. We've talked over the years about Serena's first serve, but for me personally, Osaka's first serve is equally as good, if not getting better than than Serena's even in her pomp. She has pace and she has accuracy. You could see Serena there just walking side. She took the racket out of her hand. These are Federer-like numbers in terms of accuracy. This is two feet from the line and she is peppering it constantly. We're going to take the ones away that weren't aces and you can see here, beautiful short angle. Can't ask for more than that. You've got deep through the middle, quickly onto the player, getting past them, and then the angle on the ad side as well. And as I say, she's got accuracy but she's got pace. She hit the third fastest serve in the Australian Open on the women's side. We've got Serena here, you can see at the top, Venus second, so she's got pace and accuracy. And how devastating can it be? Well, I'll show you, because when Brady took on Osaka at the US Open in the semifinals, look at these numbers for Osaka. This is in the opening set, went 7-6, she lost one point on her first serve, 21 out of 22. And when the pressure was on for Osaka going down the final stretch, her first serve, she dropped just three points. So it's gonna to be tough for Brady to manage, gonna to be interesting to see how the American is gonna return. Is she gonna go a little bit deeper or not? As for Jen, her forehand is going to be absolutely crucial for me because there's the one thing about it in particular, it has a lot of spin and that brings safety to a player. She is going into unusual circumstances, her first ever Grand Slam final. You don't want a shot that's high risk. It comes with pace, it comes with winners, but the flight of the ball, as you can see from this video, is over the net. So she's actually not flirting with the net or the lines too much. So that's going to be absolutely crucial. She has been drifting the ball a little bit more into her opponent's backhand side. I do wonder whether tonight the American maybe will stick a few more balls to the forehand of Osaka. That is the side that can at times get a little bit erratic. So whether she changes direction or not, I'm not sure. She certainly can find the short angle on that forehand side. Just to give you a little meat on the bones in terms of that forehand, we talk spin rate. And here is Jen Brady with 2550. And you can see some of the great players out there. Of course, Osaka here with a much flatter forehand. And that's what I'm talking about. The ball going over the net. She doesn't have to worry about it. It takes it out of play. But more importantly, it jumps up higher. So it messes a little bit with Osaka's swing and timing. And those numbers for Brady are the highest out of the women's top 10 as well. It's a very special shot. And when you have a special shot like that and you're playing a great player, you need something that's unique. As for Brady, it's not just about her tennis, it's also about herself, and she got nervous in the semifinals, understandably so. Here, she was averaging 135 kilometers an hour on her second serve prior to the last game, that epic game. She lost 11 kilometers on her second serve there. For Brady tonight, it's not just about her tennis, it's about managing herself.